Sam, the masters de Lisboa are nothing short of this. Olha, continua a carta, é Santos e não sei daqui de São Paulo. However, to others, the reality is much more different. When you are a photographer, there is a lot of work that needs to be done prior to getting out in the streets and shoot film. You need extra rolls, you need to make sure that all the batteries are charged, you need to make sure that everything is well accommodated in your backpack because you're going out and you're taking one, two, three heavy cameras and you need a whole paraphernalia to make things happen. So what happens is, once every year, one day, I go early to work and um, normally I start to work at 9, 9.30 in the morning. Um, on this specific day I go to work at around 6 in the morning and then I don't enter work, I park my car and I go out in the streets. Why? There is a huge party around Lisbon which is Marcha dos Santos Populares where about well, booze in Lisbon is actually for free so there is millions of people out in the streets just to watch the masses and I go out and I photograph them at the end of the party not in the beginning so the party starts the day before it goes throughout the whole night these are we are talking about millions and millions of people out in the streets of Lisbon huh? so each and every bairro has their own party each and every bar who is represent, represented in the marches, they all compete at around 10 in the afternoon, 10, 11, somewhere there. And then who wins has, you know, an even bigger party with millions of people around it. And what happens is there is uh, a lot of problems on those parties. Uh, booze is actually very cheap. We're talking about uh, like half a liter, of beer for one euro, one euro twenty. So uh, most of the foreigners they come in and they just just get drunk and then they get mugged. And uh, so, but what I do is I go um, early in the morning and I photograph them uh, and in the after party more or less. And I take cameras like this one, the Hasselblad. I take the Mamiya and I take my Rolleiflex out. Uh, and I do a huge walk of several kilometers before entering work so I can photograph them and I just do this in this specific day. Um, so people get drunk and there is a huge stress to the health system of Lisbon uh, because all of a sudden there's ambulances everywhere, um, there's drunk people, there are fights, there's a lot of issues on that specific night um, and I get them on film. I, I, afterwards I shoot them on film and it's very very common to see people on the ground passed out. Um, people uh, with their dirty with their own vomit and then this normally escalates to something much more um, worrying and worse and people are you know for hours waiting for an ambulance when they really need an ambulance because it's taken by somebody else which is completely drunk and passed out in the streets. Um, and there's a lot of um, a lot of problems of even mugging and it is very very pleasant between brackets to shoot to do street photography in this case because there is a lot to photograph there is a lot of stories that you can tell uh, in that specific day in that specific hour from five in the morning to nine in the morning 
Um, and uh, I'll show you the photos, uh, but I will comment on them as well so you can see more or less what happened and why am I showing this. Um, just, you know, think for yourself. And uh, if you're in Lisbon next year, just be careful with what you do. Uh, go out, have fun, but don't exaggerate because it, it, it will get messy pretty, pretty soon. So the first shot that you're seeing is a baker and he's heading out home. He just finished his shift uh, working all night to supply bread for the people eating and drinking. And uh, he's just heading out home completely tired, completely worn out. This shot is where I begin my walk uh, about two years ago, I think, uh, or maybe three years ago. Uh, this was the first foreigner that I saw completely laying on the floor, dead drunk one, and you can see how this is going to head out for him. This is a guy that soiled himself. Um, he had been drinking all night until he couldn't hold it no more, so he just did it on his pants, and he's now um, in a, a, a public, um, I don't know how to say this in English, we call it chafarish, so it's a public place where you know you can have access to water and he's just washing himself um, from all the filth this guy passed out completely the bar had been open uh, throughout all night and he was there probably drinking with his buddies he was left there um, he will probably be uh, robbed uh, sooner or later and he's just going to be there for the next few hours he's completely passed out this is what I've been saying before, the streets get so smelly and so full of um, spilt beer that you need people going in to clean with a fire hose. Uh, otherwise the, the, the street is going to be so sticky that you can barely walk on it. This guy, um, he managed, I saw him uh, trying to walk, he tripped and he fell over there. He went to sleep for about five or ten minutes when I took several shots of him from several angles. Um, eventually he got up and he tripped again on that, um, we call it trottinette, it's this small bicycle that you see it over there. And uh, he just stayed there. I mean, the second time he just fell on the floor and that was it. It was game over for him. Then I headed out to one of the bairro called Alfama. And this is what you, I saw from there. Um, this is the, the, all the waste from just that door, just from that bar on that door. So you can see how the things escalate and how, how busy the things are uh, during the night. And the guy is just leaving it. He just closed the door of the bar and he was heading home and that was the, the garbage outside. Now this one is one that uh, it's a keeper for me. Um, I was passing by Alfama and I saw people asking for help and this guy was on the floor, he was very livid, uh, he was breathing uh, heavily and he was having a stroke, a really a massive stroke. He probably had been drinking by what you can see on the floor for the whole night and then um, he, the, his heart just gave in, he's a, a beast and a beast person. I think that he was a Brazilian. Um, because um, he was with two Brazilian guys, although the guy on your left that you see is an Indian. Uh, and they were, they were trying to call him out, but he was just unresponsive. Uh, but initially I asked for an ambulance, uh, because the, the Indian guy, he gave me his mobile phone so I can make a phone call and call for the ambulance. I called the ambulance saying that they, they had no ambulance to pick him up. Literally, they said it like this. We have no one to go there and pick him up. So um, I just gave the phone back to the Indian guy. He was talking to them to try to know what they can do. Um, as you can see, um, there is a hand on his heart because he was, he was completely gone. Eventually, and I'm very sure of this, he died uh, there on the spot because I took the photo. I walked away because there was nothing I could do. I was just a bystander there looking at him. And after a half an hour, the ambulance still hadn't arrived. I know this because I didn't hear it. Um, and normally in ambulance, you can hear it. Uh, he probably died there on the spot. So next time you're in Lisbon, just take it easy. Go for the Marseille de Lisboa, but do behave and don't drink too much. Have it 
um, as a, a, a light night off. Don't be a jerk or otherwise you'll just end up on one of my photographs and I don't think that's what you want. So once more, thanks for watching my video. Please do hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time or as we say in Portuguese, até a próxima.